And if you're looking to get outside and maybe snap a few photos, you can enter them into a photo contest. This morning, I'm joined with Moose Wood Nature Center treasurer, Carl Wozniak. Carl, thank you so much for joining me this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me back. Yes, I'm so excited to talk about this because it's a wonderful way um, to go get outside enjoy and just be in nature but then you can also submit your photos to win a little bit of money which never hurts you know right. so can you first tell me about the get out and explore nature con uh, photo sure, contest sure be happy to um we started this a couple years ago and then covid kind of hit so we had a little lull but uh, this past this year 2023 we started up again and so we have a new a new contest this year with two age ranges so we have elementary and middle school as one and high school above as another in two categories and people can submit photos uh, amateur photographers so this is really a great opportunity if you think boy I've got this great shot that I had I really like to yeah. see what others think of it to be able to send that out to us and and maybe win some some money and some other prizes. Yeah, absolutely. And even if you don't get first, second, or third place, you still get like a moosewood mug and there's other like little incentives there for you too. Correct. Yeah. And so you have the elementary middle, um, high school, and is it high school and adult or is adult a different category? No, it's it's we grouped it as high school okay. and above. Perfect. For that. Um, just we had three groups in the past, but I think two is probably going to be a little easier to manage for us. Absolutely. So let's talk about the categories. What should sure. photographers be going out and, and looking for? Okay, so we have two categories this year, and you can enter uh, up to two photos in each category. So the first one is flora and fauna of Michigan, so that would be plants and animals of Michigan. They can be pets, they can be wildlife, um, anything that has uh, plants or animals in them. And the second category is nature and light. So thinking about that as, a, as sort of an artistic entry um, something that maybe uses light in an unusual way but shows off the nature of Michigan and particularly the Upper Peninsula. And the video that we're currently playing are some of the winners from last year, the elementary, middle, and the high school uh, winners. And so, Carl, as far as what the judges are looking for when it comes to the flora and fauna or the nature photos, what are some things that um, would maybe up a photographer's game? Oh, I th those are <laughs> really difficult because I, I'm not one of the judges sure. and I can't get into their minds. But one of the things I think that you can always look for in any photograph is, is there a point of interest? Is there yeah. something that really bursts out at you? And is this image have something unique about it? Is it done in a way that, boy, I haven't seen that before? Because that, would, that really kind of brings it to the front. Um, and so if you've got one of those, um, that you just happen to take sometime, feel free to enter it, um, yeah. or you can go out now and kind of purposefully uh, work on getting a photo for the contest, which ends fairly, you know, in about a month, a little over a month. Yes, December 20th. Correct. So let's put up the graphic. Here's a little bit of information, and I will be putting all of the links, uh, the rules and uh, categories and all of that fun stuff, all of those links on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. And then quickly, Carl, you were telling me that you guys are going to be at the TV6 Craft Show. Yes, absolutely. And that that's a fun thing. This will be our second year there um, for that. And it's a great time for for you to come out and meet us. We also have things like pottery and jewelry and artwork awesome. for sale. All the proceeds go to support the center, so we'd really appreciate you coming out and, and seeing, visiting with us. That's incredible, and thank you so much for joining me again this thank morning. Thank you again.